Hi, I'm Rob Warlow, the author of Loan Sharp, Get the Business Finance You Deserve. I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say that raising finance in the current climate is tough. It's not as easy as it once was. Whether you're looking for money to fund your startup or whether you're looking for funds to finance growth, either way, it's a challenge. Well, in this video, I want to share with you three things that you can do to substantially increase your chances of getting that all too elusive yes. And they're the three P's of raising finance. So what's the first P? Well, the first P is something that very few business owners do. And if they do practice it, it's very, very rare. So this first P is really all around the concept of planning, planning in advance. And this is all about writing a business plan. Now, if you've watched the other videos on my channel, you'll know I'm a fan of business plans. Well, why is that? Well, it's because banks want them and they want them for two reasons. Number one, it shows that you've actually researched your business properly. By the fact you're having to sit down and write a business plan, it's made you think about your business. The second reason why bankers love business plans is it makes their jobs easier. You've got one document that has everything somebody needs to know about your business. Now here's the thing, a business plan does not have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be the size of war and peace. It can be something that's eight to 10 pages long. Here's a quick format for you. Chapter one, where you've come from. Chapter two, where you are now. Chapter three, where you want to be. Chapter four, how you're gonna get there. There you are, a qu simple, quick, four-step process for writing a business plan. So go through the first P, the planning process. It will pay dividends for you. Now the next P is again something that very few business owners think about but it's all wrapped around the whole interview process that you're gonna go through with the bank. So it's all about presenting. It's about how you're gonna present you and your business during the interview. You can't go in there and just wing it and hope it'll all go well. You have to think about it in advance about how you're gonna present your plan and your business and your idea. Now, a couple of things here. First of all, think about the questions that the bank is gonna ask you. Think about those questions and then formulate replies. The bank is gonna to want to know the type of risks that you face, and more importantly, how you're gonna mitigate those risks. So have a think about that. And don't forget, an interview is not just a one-way street. It's your chance to actually ask questions of the bank as well. So what do you wanna know about the relationship, about how it's all gonna work? Put them on the spot, make them sweat for your business. So think about the presenting, about how you're gonna put your ideas across. Reflect and plan really well before you go in for that interview. And the last P, well this is something that if you're ever raising finance, you need absolutely bucket loads of it. And what I'm talking about here is patience. Boy, do you need patience when dealing with the bank. Gone are the days when you can just pick up the phone and hope for an answer back in a day or so or a matter of hours. <laughs> just doesn't happen anymore. You may have be waiting two, three, perhaps even six months to get a reply. It's gonna be a constant tennis match of questions and answers, questions and answers, queries back and forth, back and forth. You need the patience to stick at the game. Do not fall at the very last hurdle. Perhaps unknowingly, you may be only one question away from getting that yes. So have lots of patience when you're dealing with the bank, and hopefully that will really pay you dividends. So there you are. Three Ps that you should be practicing when you're looking to raise finance. Planning, presenting, and patience. I hope you've enjoyed those tips. If you want to know more, don't forget you can check out my book, Loan Sharp, Get the Business Finance You Deserve, which is available on Amazon, in WH Smith, and all other good bookstores. And also, if you want a regular flow of ideas and tips, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope you enjoyed those tips, and I look forward to sharing more ideas with you again very soon. Thank you.